so fly See Jackie says me young YouTuber Always on the tube trying to make a living Never gonna freaking stop, no way Ain't nobody stopping her, no way Yes, no way Always in the zone, always in the prime zone King of queens, looking like a pro What's cooking, what's popping? SJS Nation, SJS fam It's your girl, she Jackie says And I am back once again on your screens with another video So in today's episode of Today in Retrospect um, so over the weekend, Kurt, GFA President Kurt, has been trending for so many reasons. Now, personally, you know, I am not, um, I'm, I love sport, but when it comes to analyzing sport, I'm not the best person to do that. Who is a sports enthusiast, sports journalist, sports producer, like everything is sports. And I have him on the show. So um, let's just get right into it. All right. So guys, as I said, this is Ben. Um, he is a sports. No, wait, guys, let him introduce himself, please. Your name? You known as Benaya. Benaya. Wait, is yeah. that your actual name? Yeah, Benaya is my name. I thought it was a No, person. well, probably someone might think it's your nickname. And um, what do you do? Sports journalist, Joy FM. Yeah. Joy News, multimedia, whatever you want to put it. <laughs> sure, anything multimedia. Yeah. All right, so. Um, Quick one, let's just get right into it. Now, over the weekend, people have been calling for Kurt to be sacked. Um, a lot, it was trending all over Twitter, and I'm, sh I'm sure you saw it. It was yeah, trending. Yeah, yeah. Now, why do you think, um, personal, do you think he should be sacked? Not sacked per se, but he doesn't deserve a second term at the office. That's, okay. what, that's how I'll put it. Okay. And Ghanaians are, or let me say, Ghanians, most Ghanaians share the same view. Okay. Because they've not been impressed with his performance since he came into office. Okay. And uh, why, like, any milestone? So he hasn't achieved any milestone, if I'm getting it correct. So, comparing his administration to the one he replaced, yeah. that's um, Kwesini Antichi's yeah. administration. Mm -hmm. Under Kwesini Antichi, Ghana qualified for the 2006 World Cup yeah. for the first time. Yeah. And we qualified out of the group. Yeah. We made it to the round of 16. That was a huge achievement for a country like Ghana. Okay. 2010, we qualified for our second World Cup in South Africa and we improved. Yeah. We qualified for the um, quarterfinals. Sure. Being one of the African teams, to first African teams to make it alongside um, yeah. Senegal. 2018 wasn't all that successful. So that's where Christina and Kiki's tenure ended. Yeah. And then we have Kurt. So under Kurt, Ghana has filled uh, in our most of our competitions. World Cup. World Cup, our recent one here. Yeah, yeah. But do you think it's his fault? Of, I'll explain to you why. Okay, all right. We need that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afcon. Abysmal performance. Comoros were the country that eliminated us. Yeah. No, in fact, yeah, yeah. We didn't, we didn't even qualify <laughs> yeah. from the group. Yeah, yeah. We didn't do anything. We didn't do anything. Okay. Our women under 17, men under 17, right, sure. have not qualified for the tournament. They are the African Cup of Nations, our West should be reaching the semi-final. Yeah. That's the kind of target we've set for ourselves. So, and we weren't even able to qualify for the number of teams. That was quite a shocker. I've already mentioned the World Cup. Yeah. yeah. Our women under 17, men right. under 17, our women's senior national team have all failed to qualify for their tournament that's the outcome yeah but um moving forward under his administration under Kurt's administration yeah. so if i'm getting it correctly all his performances whatever thing that since Kurt came into power or We've since not done well in any tournament any tournament yeah. but do you think we have an actual replacement because usually they should like we should probably have a replacement usually maybe if he's not there we have this specific person that when he's put in charge of um gfa probably the the, the whole team or the, the teams that we have would probably perform better that's also another that's, we don't that's, have that, that's also another one and we, 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 are, we are look, we are i'm hoping yeah that whoever what's his stance now we can't even tell whether he win or not yeah because you know fear delegates you never know yeah and, but one of the main reasons why people are angry, more angry with his administration, let me say, catch himself, is because they feel they don't give coaches their, like, they don't allow them to do their job on their own. There's too much interference. 
Oh, okay, from, from the jobs, upper hand, from the, from the yeah, upper hand, too much okay, authorities. And I feel there's a conflict of interest whereby a GFA president who also have shares or owns a football club. Okay, yeah, Christ has a has his yeah, own yeah, football yeah, club. Yeah. Oh, exactly. okay. So people kind of feel there's this kind of power play, political, or let me say political uh, agenda going on in sure. our national team. So whereby you would want to see a player from your team, yeah, or under your a player under your agency mm-hmm. playing in the national, national team. team. Yeah, and at the end of the day, yeah. it's like there's no transparency. There's transparency, and as a result, players who deserve to be called to the national team end up not being called up because of maybe your player okay. and all that. You know, people have ears, people watch, people see things, people know stuff in this country. Recently, in, in our World Cup against Portugal, we saw Baba Raman playing, and it didn't make sense why Baba Raman should play. Yeah. But the rumors out there is Kets had a hand in it. So you know, all so this, if, if all this, the yeah, all this. It's like a power yeah. play here, Cal- and yeah, he exactly. needs to be out. We probably need a person. He's not who allowing the coaches to do their job, Jobs. and he's in, they are interfering in their business and all that. Oh, and as a result, players who deserve. Or yeah. let me say players who deserve to be in the national teams or sure. the various national teams are not the ones who have been called but rather their favorites sure let me sure. put it that way and that's a result that's the result we are seeing in the performances of our various national teams yeah. in the tournaments and they go there they don't really perform all right guys um so you finally heard it from benaya why um kurt was a Kurt Okreku was trending this weekend. Basically, Ghanaians are calling for his removal and yeah. a lot more. So that is all for today. In fact, he did sports. I was just helping him out. I think yeah, guys yeah. watching today's video is to your girl She Jackie says, your hostess with the hostess, bringing you the hottest that you'll see at peace and I am out. Looking so yeah. fly, she Jackie said, like you